Hello and welcome. Please pause the video and try this problem on your own. See what you can do. All right, let's start by reading this problem together. It says, which table of values represents a linear relationship? So a linear relationship is a relationship that when you graph it, right, if you were to graph a linear relationship, any linear relationship, uh, you get some type of line, right? It's literal, linear. The word linear has the word line right in it, right? Linear. Are linear, I guess you could say. Um, so here, we're, we're looking for the relationship that would give us a line if we graph it. Now, in order for it to form a line, you have to have a constant slope. In other words, anywhere you look in your table, if you take delta y and divide it by delta x, you get the same slope m. What's delta y? That's the difference of your y's. And what's delta x? That's the difference of your x's. So let's look at our first table. Our delta f of x here, going in this step right here from negative 3 to negative 2 is a change of plus 1. Or you can think of that as negative 2 minus negative 3, positive 1. And our x is also going up. 0 minus negative 1, that's 1. It's going up by 1. So our slope is 1 over 1. In the next step, our slope goes up by 3. That doesn't mean it's not linear yet, but it does because x is still going up by 1. If x was going up by 3 as well, Right? 3 over 3 would still be the same slope of 1 over 1. But it's changing. Since our slope is changing, this would not form a line. It's not linear. Let's look at our next table. Our delta f of x is going up by a half, plus 1 half. And our delta x is going up by 1. So far, our slope is 1 half over 1, or half. But then our slope changes, because f of x goes up by 1, and delta x, um, or the delta x is 1. So 1 over 1 is 1. The slope is changing. It's not going to be a line. Keep going. Here, our delta f of x is 2. Positive 2, right? Negative 1 minus negative 3 is 2. And then our delta x is 1. So our slope is 2 over 1, or 2. Then we go again. Up by 2 here. Up by 1. So far, our slope is constant. Up by 2. Up by 1. And up by 2. And up by 1. Because each step right, that we took get, leads to the same slope, we know this is a linear function. And you can hop around. I mean, you can go from like this point to this point. That, if we went from these two points here, our, our delta f of x would be plus 4, and our delta x would be 2, plus 2. But 4 over 2 is still 2, which is the same as 2 over 1. So anywhere we go, any two points we choose, we get the same slope. All right, hope this helped.